And good morning, and morning it is here in Naviscane in Seven Days to Die. So if you've played the previous versions of uh, Seven Days to Die, you might have used the combination of the Hash Evator and the Hay Bale Drop. And then that was nerfed. Both the Hash Evator was taken out and the Hay Bale Drop was, well, it was fairly significantly nerfed because, whereas before you used to be able to just place these down, and you would go to the top of your mineshaft and you, when you're going down, you just dump down and you are just fine. However, uh, that's no longer the case. As you notice, I took a fair bit of damage, almost uh, 100 hit points, and my leg broke. So that's one of the changes that were occurring in Alpha 17. Hail bales would no longer save you from all damage. It would prevent you from dying. That was about a 200 height fall. Or rather, it was a fall from a 200 elevation down to, I believe, about 100. This is the fall from 300. And yeah, let's see, that's about 62. So that's about 240 uh, drop. So I took uh, less than 100 damage, but my leg broke. And the leg breaks pretty much all the time. Of course, if you don't have these ones, then uh, this is what happens when you fall really high. Yeah. You die. So hay bales uh, still save you from dying, but they leave you with a broken leg. And that's obviously not quite optimal if you want to go around and do your mining or do anything else for an hour before it's broken. Uh, sorry, before it's mended. And uh, of course, you could splint it with, to cut that down. It, that's still fairly annoying. So what do we do in Alpha 18 to well, allow us to have a nice safe drop? Well, why not use water? So. I'm going to go through this time a bunch of tests where I will check at what height do you need uh, various depths of water before you actually start taking damage. So we're going to start with, let's say, from a 10 high and drop down into one meter of water or rather one block of water. It's not quite one meter. And then we'll progressively go up and see how that interacts with, with the water depth. We're also going to put uh, some hay bales at the bottom to see if that actually mitigates it even further. And uh, if I have time, I might uh, shove off a few uh, zombie cheerleaders as well to see, well, does it work the same for them? And not to mention, it might be nice to see the wet zombies. So thanks for following along and uh, please uh, leave that like and subscribe. But first, we have here our basic pit. So I'm going to use the admin block as you saw that worked pretty well. You can of course use buckets as well. It works well, it works equally well once the <laughs> once the water is down, but uh, half the time the water doesn't really want to stick. But I'll, I'll show that a bit later that it'll it'll sort of vanish when you put it down. It does work. It just means you have to go and uh, grab a lot more water. So I'm using the admin water box and because it's a lot faster since I'm just making a video. But the same thing works with just normal water as well. It's just more tedious. So we're going to build up a little bit here. So we're going to go up to 10, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So now we're at 10 height and I'm up here. If I jump into the water, what happens? Good question. Do I take damage? Do I break my leg? I broke my leg, even at 10. Took 20 damage. Now, keep in mind, I don't have anything for parkour. So if you have the parkour, obviously this is going to change because you can, uh, the fall distance, the safe fall distance will be different. And uh, even 10 here broke my leg. It didn't kill me, but it broke my leg. There's also the impact bracing mod that you can put on your shoes. I'm not going to use this one. It does reduce fall damage. And if you're lucky to find the great heist number five, you can fall up to 50 meters without taking damage if you're carrying 5,000 dukes or more. But we're not going to do this. It's going to be just plain with nothing. So uh, 10 uh, still broke my leg. That was a little bit surprising. So let's see if we can do five or something. One, two, three, four, five. All right, let's start with five then. All right, let's continue with five rather. D does that? Oh yeah, just fine. So five seems to be just fine. 10 is too much. 10 started taking damage. So five seems to be the limit if you have, well, basically water one high, uh, one deep. So if I remove this and we're going to do another, uh, jump down here, see what happens. Yep, it's spraying the leg. So for the same height that you uh, are safe, you will sprain your leg. And of course, a leg sprain is just a few minutes of uh, healing. But of course, it's a bit annoying because you also walk slower. Here's 10 and I didn't break it, it just sprained. So maybe it just happens to be right at the edge of where it will sprain or break. So let's try 11, just to sort of baseline it here. So at 11, 
Yeah, it definitely breaks a leg. So presumably, if I put a hay bale underneath here, it should save me even at 11. So let me do that. I take out the wa water, <laughs> or rather I take out the floor and the water falls down because it's a little bit like a normal block. It, you know, it sort of has stability. It's really weird. But now we have a one deep and we have our water there. So let's uh, just jump down here. Let's see, does this save me? No. Okay. So maybe there's actually no difference from using hay bales and not using hay bales. That was a little bit surprising, actually. Um, obviously, there's water there. So yeah, maybe there's no difference. So I guess we have to take this out and make it too deep. So now I'm going to make it one deep and two deep. See if I can put it in. You see that it just blinked and it didn't fill out. But now it's actually too deep. And if I go down, you'll see I'm standing here. If I shift the... Uh, or rather control and crouch, you'll see I'm in the water and there's water all throughout. Let's see what happens up at 11. Does that save us from having a leg break? It didn't. And uh, I was almost drowning for a moment. So even two did not make a difference. That was actually fairly surprising. I think I would have thought, no, I would have thought that two would actually help you, but no. Uh, let's do three then. All right, so now I'm going to have to Build this up again, just to make sure that I am getting three deep. First layer is there. Let's get the second layer. Let's get the third layer. Okay, so now we have three layers of water. And again, if I go down, you'll see I sink all the way down slowly and I can't breathe. So, yep, that's perfect. That's what we wanted. Let's jump up here from our 11 high perch and oh, yeah. It works just fine. We fall down, we sink a little bit, but the water definitely stops our fall here. So let's do this again. Oh yeah, seems to be just fine. 11 and three deep, or rather it's sort of like two and a half. The top one isn't really full, I believe. So it's really two and a half, but let's count this as three just so you know, easier to talk about it. Uh, so 11 and three works just fine. But what happens if you go to 20? Ooh, now it's getting fairly high actually. Hope we don't have vertigo because we're gonna jump off. And three worked equally well as for for twenty, um, and that's really nice. Or rather, t ten. So at twenty, having a three deep is really good. Well, that's fine. Let's just uh, bump it up to thirty meters. Right, now come up to thirty meters, and we're gonna take another plunge down here and see. Oh yeah, no, thirty at three definitely breaks our leg here. But we're gonna try just again with a hay bale to see if uh, it has any difference here. So 30, three deep, and hay bales. And that was still painful. Okay, uh, that, that, that was a bad thing. So we're gonna make this one, two, three, four deep now. So let me put down this one. Let me show, let me put the bucket water here. And put it here, you see it worked just fine. This time it didn't work. This time it didn't work. And again, that's why I'm using the admin blocks. But the regular buckets of water will work. It just takes longer, as you can see. All right, now we have four. So four deep and 30 high, what will happen? I think we might be just fine actually. And yep, you can see at the end, we sort of sink down rather than hit with a crack. So four deep is really good even at 30. We're gonna go up here to 40 meters. Let's do 40 M. And we're gonna take another plunge here to see what happens. I think we'll break. No, we did not break our legs. So four deep is good even for 40. And of course, you might guess we're at 50 here and just fine. What about 60 meters? Uh, maybe borderline? No, just fine. So four really seems to work for a lot of heights, actually. We're jumping down. 70, just fine. And at 80 meters, we break our legs when it's only four deep. Okay, so it if, at least if you're doing a regular type where you're having let's see here 40 50 60 70 uh, having it fall deep is the way to go about it but for 80 you're going to need to have it even deeper i've now made sure that it's five deep and i think it should be just yeah it's just fine so as we go up really high and i think that uh five deep will last us i don't know up to 120 or something so let me do a few more tests here let me go up to 120 to see we're five deep will stop working and will start breaking your leg. 
is now 120 high. And the good thing about pairing so so high is that you have a lot of time to contemplate uh, when you're actually hitting the water or you're going to die. But that's just fine for five deep. All right, final test I'm going to do. This is 150 high and uh, you're unlikely to have, have much deeper than this because I'm really high up now. Of course, if you're having a really deep uh, tower and down to your mine, of course, that might go deeper. But, you know, 150 seems to be reasonable and we have a five deep here. And I think it'll be just just fine so uh i think that if you want to be really sure make it five deep but what happens when uh well, we push in a zombie so first of all we're gonna make it four deep if you remember for 80 meter we needed a five deep to not take damage and we're gonna spawn in a zombie and uh, drop them there as well will that save the cheerleader or will it take damage just like the player does? And it's got 125 hit points and down to 83. So similar to the player, it also takes the damage. But what if we do it just 70? Because 70, we were just fine if we're having a four deep. Sorry, ma'am. And let's go down here. And it still took damage. Okay, so that's actually fairly surprising. It means that... At a certain height, uh, the player will take no damage. Right? I, I'll verify that again, but the zombies would. So we're at 70 and 4 deep and we are fine, but the zombies taking damage. So those are not equivalent. Well, that's really interesting. What if we do 60 then? Let's go down, let's see. Now she still takes damage. What? So they are not affected by, maybe they're not affected by water the same way as players are at all. That might actually be pretty good. Yes. So what seems to be happening, um, none below, let me try this one as well then. Does this one do anything? 125 down to, okay, so she's fine there. Um, but uh, definitely, we have 120 here. Oops, is there one there? Uh, 120, we are just fine if we drop down here. But the cheer leader is not. It's taking some damage. What that potentially means, and maybe that's something to explore in a future video, is that you could have a drop trap. On the bottom, you put water. So if you fall down or players fall down, you are doing just fine. Why can't I actually kill this one? <laughs> Come on. Uh, that if you fall down, you will live, but zombies will still die because they don't seem to be affected the same way by water cushioning your fall. Oh, that's really good. So for final test, I'm going to do five deep hay bales at the bottom, and I'm going to go up really high to see um, will that at least keep me alive? Does the water break my fall a little bit, and the hay bale save me from dying? Because I think I will be breaking my leg. Just as if there was no water, but maybe, maybe I'll still survive at least. I believe that's going to happen, right? Right. Otherwise, this would going to be a kind of a dumb test. We're now at 400 high. Let's see what happens when we slowly fall down and we admire this Navisgain landscape, and then we hold our breath and. All right, so hay bales at the bottom of water will not save you unlike hay bales out of water. Oh, that was really surprising. That was super surprising. I for sure thought that uh, I'm going to take less damage because of uh, the water, but I'm going to be just fine because, well, I have, I have hay bales. But no, uh, don't put hay bales at the bottom here, maybe. Um, <laughs> all right. Uh, it doesn't really seem to help at all. So if you're going to jump down from really high, use the hay bales because while you might be breaking your leg, you're not going to die. And here's that same fall from about uh, 400 plus high. And uh, well, what do you think? Would you use water to break your fall to survive when you're jumping down into your mine? And yeah, you see, landing on the hay bale just here without water, I survive, it takes damage, I break my leg, but at least I'm alive, doing the water and no, you're gonna die. Oh, that's a bit of a pity. So having them here is, 
Well, it just means that if you're going to do really long falls, make sure you have a hay bales. If you're going to do not so long, you know, up to a reasonable level, like you know, 100 or something, if you dig down five, fill it with water, you're going to be just fine. And zombies are still going to take damage. If they fall down, they're not going to be full health like you are. Hopefully this was useful for your mining enterprises and your base building as you're planning out uh, how you're going to deal with long drops down to your mind. I think I'm going to start putting in uh, probably four or five deep water and uh, save me the time of just slowly walking down the ladder. I know I have a friends on my server who use the ladder trick where you basically detach yourself. You go on the ladder, you hit space, you'll fall down and before you hit the ground, you hit space again and you'll stop. Of course, the problem is that if you do this and then you fail to hit the space before you hit the ground, then, well, obviously you hit the ground and you break your leg or you die, which obviously happens to people sometimes. But this is one trick that sort of works. A little bit harder on server if there's a slight latency. So I would uh, suggest put in a nice little pool. And if nothing else, when you come back home from your base, uh, base rating or POI rating or fighting, you come in here and just uh, clean off a little bit and you'll be all fine. Uh, yeah, I probably need a way out here. Uh, anyways, I'll, I'll see you next time. Uh, assuming I can make it out of this uh, pit of water. Um, um, uh, anyway, bye-bye. Uh, Special thanks to the great patrons supporting the channel. If you would like to join the Vedic community and support these videos, do follow the Patreon link.